Have you heard or watched this viral video called Squirrel Ninja Optical Course? It was created by Mark Rober and the video went viral in the summer of 2020. It had 54 million views by the time I'm making this video. In just six months. If you have not watched it, I would highly recommend it. Inspired by Mark Rober's video, I decided to share my own experience of fighting with squirrels during the past summer. But Instead of building a squirrel-proof bird feeder, I was building a squirrel-proof chicken feeder because, uh, you know, I'm a chicken owner. And actually, I did this, that project about the same time when he was do, working on his project. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I haven't posted it because, uh, um, you know, I was thinking who wants to know about the squirrel stories. But, you know, I, now I thought maybe, maybe it's interesting, like especially I have put my own design into it. If you like my video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. That will help my channel to grow. And also I have put all the, uh, the links to all the chicken products in the description section down below. So if you are also a chicken owner, please take a look. Now going back to the story, the reason I built a squirrel-proof chicken feeder was because I had a squirrel-infested chicken coop last summer. They sneak in to eat chicken feed every day and soon before I realized, there were five squirrels visiting the chicken coop regularly to eat all-you-can-eat buffet. If not stopping them in time, I've heard that squirrels could steal chicken eggs, or even worse, they could hurt your chickens. So at that moment, I decided to look for a squirrel-proof chicken feeder. After observing squirrels eating chicken feeds for a while, I decided to create my own version of the squirrel-proof chicken feeder instead of buying one from the market, because it will be more fun, so why not? And here comes the prototype. And this is my mom's invention for squirrels not to eat chicken food. So when squirrel, they put their paw on here, but when they keep rolling, and if they want to jump on here, it will close down and then they will roll away. And then where are we going to put this? In the chicken coop. Look yeah. at these cute little chickens. That's right, we are going to hand them and then we are going to do our prototype testing. I notice the squirrels always stand up and hang on the edge of the feeder with their front paws. So my idea is to make the edge impossible for them to hang on. Second, if the squirrel decides to jump on it from a higher position, the lid should close up by itself. Because my mom put a rubber band here and then after that, this slidey thing, the robot make it and then it will slide down the roll away. That's right. Okay, let's uh, put it in test. Okay, but we don't have the food. Okay. I'm making, I'm putting the chicken food. It's these little brown things. I have a whole block of them. Can we do the video? Yeah, I'm doing the video. Look, the chickens can eat. So, is it going? Yeah, but her head is bumping onto the lid a lot, little bit. <laughs> Let's see the side view. Yeah. Chicken is wondering what. The Look at this cute little chicken. That's what is chocolate. Going on? Vanilla! Their heads are too big. <laughs> okay, the problem I see is the chicken is putting a lot of food in the crack. Two chickens can eat together. The lid is a little bit on the way though. Maybe Mama. the lid needs to be hand on a different position. We also set up the cameras to stream the live videos to my phone. This way we will know if the prototype works or not. Here comes the squirrel. The squirrel is carefully coming into the chicken coop. It's standing up only to find that the chicken feeder has been changed. Now I think the squirrel is eating the crumbles dropped on the ground. Come on, Mr. Squirrel, time to try the new prototype. It's a squirrel party.
What's happened, squirrel? Is it hard to breathe now? <laughs> And this squirrel is trying a different approach. Hmm, think, 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 think. Oh no, the chicken is coming and run away. Oh, good chicken. She's scaring away the squirrels and she's protecting the eggs, right? Yeah. This time they change the strategies. Watch. The squirrel rolls the roller to let the crumbles between the gap fall down on the ground and then he can eat all the crumbles on the ground. Mama, I have a question. Why do squirrels don't eat acorns anymore than just chicken food? Hmm, good question. Do you know? Put the comments down below. Oh, he's really trying hard and he's tall. Oh no, my design doesn't work for the tall squirrels. But it is still work for the short squirrels. And this one, I don't know if it's the same one, is going to try again from the top position. Hey, what are you trying to do, squirrel? Don't break my model. Looks like the spring door totally worked. The squirrel pushed the door but got a slap on the face. Watch the slow-mo. <laughs> He's like, hmm, I gave up. At this point, I consider myself halfway to success. However, the taller squirrels still can reach to the feed. Granted, it's not easy for them, but I decided to make it even harder for them. I reduced the length of the handler for a little bit to make sure the feeder would hang higher. Also, I have turned the feeder around to let it face backward. Hopefully, squirrels will stop from jumping on top of my feeder box. Oops, it looks like the feeder is still not tall enough, so I further shot the hanger and put it back on. Now I must be winning, right? At least that's what I was thinking. Therefore, I didn't continue to monitor the camera, nor did I save any more videos. Here comes the grand finale. After a few hours, I decided to take a look at the coop only to find that the squirrels had chewed and broken my hanger. Ah! My prototype was sadly laying on the ground and all the feed has gone. Squirrel one!